Good morning, guys. What's going on, my sexy YouTubers? Welcome back to Ricky2365. My name is Rick, and this is your channel, guys. And uh, I gotta talk to you guys once again about gas prices. Um, they are ridiculous. They are uh, ridiculous. Uh, yesterday, uh, for the first time since since I've been in Arizona, since I've been in Arizona, which is by now three years. Matter of fact, since I've been in the United States, which is 2003, um, I go to a gas pump. Okay, I fill up. I fill up, or, or tried, attempted to fill up the the tank of my vehicle. Uh, I put $85 into this BMW X7. It doesn't fill up all the way up, okay? Because I'm paying $5.10 a gallon. And the clerk at the, uh, at the gas station tells me, sir, uh, I'm sorry, but you reach the daily limit. At that moment, at that moment, I realized that the United States as we know it are going to be changing going to be changing forever so uh, what can I say to you guys <clears throat> what can I say to you guys first thing first thing that I did after I saw that it wasn't just one gas station it was multiple gas stations uh, I got to the news right away I got to the news and I started researching you know in depth the reason the behind of why gas prices are so expensive and gas prices being expensive since a year ago okay uh, I seen the uh, the, the current uh, administration blaming the gas prices on COVID okay and then as soon as they're putting uh, the Russia or Ukraine conflict started they've been blaming they've been blaming gas prices everything all the prices to to the conflict uh, you know what I call this I call this bad 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 administration this is a very 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 terrible horrible administration that is that is not it's not uh, handling it's not handling none of these uh, situations appropriately okay I want you guys to know this and, and some of you guys might be, might be ah, oh, he's a trumper, he's this, he's that. But I gonna, I, we gotta give credit to the man. Uh, during, during his, uh, during his, uh, his four years in, in in office as the forty third president of the United States, uh, he managed to fill up all the reserve um, allocations for fuel. So we have, we have, you know so many uh, millions of gallons or, or whatever the case may be um, and he managed to buy the fuel prices to fill up those those uh, reserves at, at a very cheap cost very very low cost okay and he was able to fill them up now president the president that we have is trying to use is trying to deplete those uh, those same uh, emergency uh, uh, reserve uh, fuel allocations that we have because of the conflict that where, where we are in okay and I gotta tell you guys we have we have we still have the Keystone pipeline that needs to be reopened that will deliver fuel directly from Canada to many 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 fuel suppliers fuel refineries allowing us to to start to go back to be energy independent Guys, most of you guys be be talking to me like, no, you gotta get an electric car. I can, yes, I can buy an electric car. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, I've, I've, been, I've been I've been I've been tempted to uh, to get me a, a one of those plate. You know, the the uh, the uh, Tesla plate S whatever. Yeah, one hundred forty thousand. Um, I've been very tempted, very very tempted. You know, uh, but but this is the problem that I have, guys. Um, I cannot get my mind, I cannot get my head around it. Can I pay more money for? Can I pay more money for a vehicle? Because it will cost definitely more than this this car. This this car is one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. 
The plate S, the way, the way I want it, fully loaded with everything, is almost 150000 Oh, yeah, the government is going to give you $7,000 back UP. Okay? Uh, that doesn't even cover 20% of the down payment. But anyway, that's, that's not the case right now. The case right now is this, guys. Is that... To create that energy, to create mm -hmm. that solar energy that, that we're thinking that, that or, I'm sorry, to create that energy that we're thinking that we're going to get from the sun, uh, not everything, not, 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 not all energy comes from the sun, okay? Most energy comes from more petroleum, you know? Energy plants, and this energy plant runs on petroleum. So, I think we have... I think we have this uh, uh, this whole energy independent electric cars uh, uh, being kind of uh, being kind of like the, the solution, but it's not the solution at, at the end. Like for real, it's not the solution at the end because the more electric cars that we have out there means the more fuel the government has to pay for, it. or the more the more the more fuel the uh, uh, the uh, the electric companies have to pay for, it so they can provide. This uh, this station, this hub station, with electricity, and then you have to incur in the uh, uh, in, in 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 another expense in your house where you got to put a wall charger in your house. I mean, there's there's so much, there is so much to be to be talked about when you're thinking about putting um, putting electric uh, or or buying electric uh, vehicle or going. Uh, electric vehicle from uh from from uh, from fossil i mean from fuel from gas it's it's not just as simple as that if the if the end uh, if the go, uh, end goal is to be energy independent you won't because you're thinking that you with your vehicle is doing it but the electric company don't care the electric company is is just looking at you uh, and selling you another another one of those that's all i have to say to you guys i mean I, I wish that you know the uh the solution was simpler but it's not it's not it's just not uh and i want to guys I, I want you guys to i, I want i want to tell you guys uh this right here is that we can't we can we can think that we're doing something for the uh, for the environment, we can think we're doing something for for the for the for the tomorrow of this of this planet. But the more the more I research, the more I research, guys, we we're just going in a circle, you know. And it's it's sad, you know. But there's nothing we can do. There's 100 percent nothing we can do right now. Uh, the the administration is going to continue blaming Putin into the gas prices. They just, I mean, they're Democrats. They're Democrats. I mean, uh, and what Democrats have been doing best than anybody else all this time, blaming others for their faults. Blaming others instead of, instead of taking responsibility. I mean, I, that's, that's the case. Uh, how, many, how many times did I see Trump on his stage saying, ah, oh, that's not my fault, this is this fault and this fault and this fault, one, two, three, perfect. But now, you know, we have somebody. We have somebody in office who is like, "Oh, that's not my fault," and this is why. Uh, this is why. That this is the reason why uh, uh, the gas prices are so high. Uh, for Russia, without any context, without any plan, without any strategy. I mean, the vice president is lost in the sauce. Uh, uh, the secretary of uh, the press secretary. She's just. She just. I mean, every time. Every time that she goes on stage, you know, she get bombarded from Republicans and Democrats. They're turning on them. They are turning on them. And you know why is that? Because every single one of those guys, they they do drive. Okay? They do drive vehicles and they feel the pain. They might not drive vehicles every day. But there's a lot of people on the sea on uh, uh, at the capital that they, they just either walk or uh, or maybe they got a, a, a corporate credit card for the gas expenses. But when it comes to to put the to put gas on their own vehicles on the weekend so they can go and jump themselves, they'll be like, wow, six, seven dollars gas. Well there's the gas very very expensive. Um, so we are all feeling it guys. 
all I have to tell you is if you want if you want something to start changing this is the year we need to start getting these Democrats out of office okay Democrats that Democrats that, that, that you know and I'm not saying I'm not saying to you hey just because of this you need to vote Republican that's not what I'm saying I'm saying just because of this you need to start listening to what the Republican Party on your state uh, may, might have to say about about what's going on because maybe you're maybe your candidate Democrat is, is just much better than, than a Republican one hey what for them this is the time for you to start opening listening to those Republicans because I know some of you guys I mean uh, I got family members they, they just don't listen I say Trump I say Republicans they just don't listen uh, and it's funny because I know now they have their ear you know paying attention so anyway guys um, be good to one another don't forget to like the video share the video comment on the video and subscribe to the channel bye